Speaking with William Morgan, present are Gwen Rupert and Liz Allen. Okay, we're talking about the recording. Mm -hmm. What is this about? We heard that you said something to the um, yes. floor deputy. Yes. We're, um, we're homicide detectives this week. Ooh. So, I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I know what this is about then. Yes. Talk to us. So, there was a gentleman. I'm not, it was brought to my attention by one of the other employees. When I thought I'd work at Ace. Which one? Um, it might have been Chris. No, which, I'm sorry, which Ace? Uh, in DeForest. In DeForest. Yes. Where's that at? Um, it's on the main drag? DeForest is in between here. It's No, not where DeForest is. Where's the Ace in DeForest? Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Dude. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm off Main Street, um, right the next North to itself? Walgreens. It's about a mile away from the guy's house. Oh, in that strip mall right there? Oh, okay, all right. Where the, the Chinese place is at, and then... It's actually right across the street. Yeah, so yeah. right in that area, okay. Yes, all right, cool. All right, so they start around the forest, a mile from his house. Do you know him? I do not. I work at a hardware store, so I have... Well, um, maybe went to high school or something? I'm from Colorado. Okay. There is no way I know this man. Cool. <laughs> um, I was working. Um, this is... I didn't realize it at first that it was a possibility, and I was talking to one of um, the manager there, and I was like, because we were just kind of BSing because the sheriff just left from uh, video footage or whatever, yep. and I was like, do I know this guy, or did I ever help this guy out? Like, because I know the, their friends very well, the ones that went over to their house that Friday and found out that they weren't there or whatever. Oh, the, the two adult. couple. The couple? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know them. I sold so who's them. that? Do you know their names? I don't. Off the top of my head. Like, if they came into the store, I could show you, and they'd, we'd flap our gums like crazy. Okay, well, how do you know that they're their friends then? Um, they knew a lot of information that came out later on. So you've talked to them since the disappearance? Well, since they, they said they went over there on Friday. And These the, friends? Yes. Okay. And the kids told them that they went up, the kid told them that they went up north to okay. a cabin. This is what I heard from them. Okay, so you've talked to them since they disappeared. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then a couple, you know, a couple days later, the sheriff comes. And yep. he's we're going through all the footage, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? You know, this ain't normal. I didn't think anything of it. It kind of sidetracked me that that had happened. And Chris, the manager, comes to me, and he's like, dude, I swear we remember. We know these people. Like, I, I swear I know these people. I'm like... That came in a lot, and he's like, "Well, I'm pretty sure the kid came in and bought a tarp from you." And I'm like, well, "Why don't I remember this kid? Like, why don't?" Because I remember uh, someone coming in and was like, "Hey, can I, can someone help me find a tarp or something I could lay down on the ground so I don't get stuff all over the floor?" Hang so, on. <laughs> Did he say that to you? Yeah. Okay, say that again. Can someone help me find a tarp or something I can lay on the ground so I don't get stuff on the floor? Which that's a natural question for me. You know, I work at a hardware store.
What do you do there exactly? I sell tarps. I sell paint equipment. I sell. I mean, what's your job? Though? Are you just like you're a general worker? You I'm should general... know everything there is in yep. the store and direct people to where things are and cut keys and do all of it. I even oh. fix the equipment in the back. Okay. Um, do you have a title? Um. They called me something the other day. Um, Are you an assistant manager? No, no. Uh, I'm more of the repair person. I fix all their broken, like, because they have rental stuff, oh. like rototillers and um, sod cutters. So I'm the one that fixes all that stuff. How long have you been there? Five months. Are you an ace person? Like you've been working at different aces and now you end no. up at this one? This um, is your first job yep. with ace? Okay. All right, tell me that quote again. Can someone help me? Find a tarp or something I could lay down. See, I'm, I'm, I don't know for sure if it's the guy, but well, somebody brought it to my attention that it could have been. Right. Okay, so it your, was another employee. your quote just changed. So before you said, can someone help me find a tarp or something that I can put on the floor? Something I can lay on the ground. Okay. Yeah. And this is coming off of um, me talking with other employees just after we kind of, you know, figured a little bit of this thing out, you know. Okay. Okay. Who's your manager? Uh, Chris, uh, the regular manager, quit oddly around the same time. Uh, so Chris knew about it? Or no, the other, the other manager quit around the same time. I don't know if he just had enough of the store. Which one had the, the conversation with you, though, about it? Chris. Chris. So it was yeah. Chris that said you sold him the tarp? Okay. He says it might have been me that sold him the tarp. Because I remember selling somebody a tarp, I just, I see so many faces, it, they don't click anymore. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. What's Chris's last name, do you know? Uh, Chris Thompson, I believe. And he's the manager right now? Yeah. It's a him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, keep going. So, do you remember when this was? I don't. This basically... Like, it, obviously not. It like was right know. before the sh uh, the sheriff came in to start asking a bunch of questions. And what does right before mean? Days, hours, days. weeks? Days. Two days, six days? I can't give you a correct answer on exactly how many when, days. When would you just, start saying weeks? It wouldn't be weeks yet. It would be before weeks, like before a week. So maybe... So less than a week, less than seven days? In between three and five day business okay. days. Okay, alright. And why do you know, you said right before the, what did you say? The, the sheriff. Shooting? The sheriff oh. um, came in to review footage from our store. And then that kind of fired, that's what fired off the, the conversation on, you know, what was going on. So. Okay, so um, I sent Steve Miller out to look at for video in DeForest Thursday. So it could have been him already. Um, skinny, five... 10, 511. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Does he look it. like he rides a motorcycle? Yep, older gentleman. Yes. Okay. Gray hairs. 40, 45. A few gray hairs? Not a whole lot? Maybe. No. I'm sure he has gray hair. I mean, he's that age. No. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, Do you remember anything about your encounter? No, I don't. Can you describe who you sold it to? It was a guy. I mean, there's many guys that come in. Right? I just. just <laughs> Approximate age. I don't even remember because it was somebody else that brought it to my attention that it might have helped the guy. Right. That's all. That's all I know. Your so, approximate age is that what you said? Did you say that? No. Oh. Do you know if he's paid with cash, card, check? Okay. No, no. I don't work register. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying. Did you actually check him out? No. Do you guys have video? We do have video. <laughs> I don't know if it records or it just looks good. Because I know mine looked good when I had my shop. What? When I had my shop, it looked good. It didn't work. It was in the... Oh, it was no, just... No, when I had my mechanic shop. I had a nice camera system. It worked <laughs> good, but it didn't work. I can never figure it out. So. Okay. Do you remember what you, what tarp you got him? I just want to say it was a blue one. Like the multicolored, one side blue, one side silver. Or it could have been just clear plastic, because those are the only two I really ever saw. What's clear plastic? Um, the clear plastic that you would like lay on your carpet, so when you're painting. Oh yeah. Sweater well, underneath. I wouldn't carpet. call that a tarp, though. Oh no, but Isn't it's that, a covering. It's got a special name, doesn't it? Like. I don't know. Plastic sheeting or. Plastic, just plastic cover, plastic. 
Painters or three covered. mil, five mil, six I mil. Know. I mean, when people want that, aren't they asking that specifically, though? No, they just want something that they can lay down. Okay. So they don't get paint on their stuff. That's okay. How many, um, how many of those have you sold in the last month? Two. Wh which one? The all. blue and silver one, or all. all of the above we just talked about? Was it one of each? No, not at the time, no. It was just one or the other. He only got one package at that time. Right, but how many of those have you sold in the last month? Probably just that one. That somebody came in and asked about? I mean, who knows what people picked up that they knew where to go look for and themselves, but you helped somebody with? Okay. Yeah. And then it could, they could have came in when I wasn't working, too. So. Sure, absolutely. Because technically, right now, I'm supposed to be working. Well, get out of here. I'm trying. I'm supposed to have court at 1.30. Yeah, that's what we heard. Is this going to help me in any way? Possibly? We, we will, if you're interested, we will let the ADA know that you've cooperated and you've given us this information that could be helpful. We appreciate I just, it. I just don't know how accurate it is. Like, I help so many people throughout the day, and when some one of my coworkers brings it to my attention that I may have helped someone do something horrible, like, look, I'm not okay with it. I got goosebumps, like, it's not okay with me. Uh, it, but and if I would have known, I would have never sold it to him. Right, so you couldn't have known. I don't think you would have known it And I know these customers, because the they've come into the store, and I've talked to them. They, they, have you ever heard of Ego? Yeah. They're electric uh, lawnmowers, weed whackers, oh. chainsaws, uh, even riding lawnmowers electric now. Um, I talked to them about selling them a chainsaw, leaf blower, uh, hedge trimmers, and I, that was the, the parents that I talked to about selling them to. And then that's their friends that came in to get the stuff, like get their, what they talked about getting that following week, and then they shared the information on what they knew, that they had talked to the sheriffs and whatever. Hey, um, we're all deputies. I'm sorry. for the one sheriff. I'm sorry. That's we're all as flunkies. <laughs> Until you become not the flunky. Until you become the guy who gets elected. Yeah. We're actually detectives. We're also still deputies. But there's only one sheriff. I don't see. <laughs> On record, um, my life hasn't been the greatest. Like I've made mistakes of my own that I'm not proud of. And um, I would like to help you guys in any way that's possible. Um, Appreciate that. Now, in this room, or in the long run, like anything. If I hear anything, I could give you guys a call. Cool. Um, I'd be happy to help in any way. What, uh, don't tell me, or don't explain much of it, but what are you here for? You an OWI or something? No. No. Definitely not. Okay. I don't drive while intoxicated. Good for you. <laughs> um, actually, funny story Just is... Just say the charge. Don't tell me about it, because you shouldn't talk about it to me right now. Um, Possession of some sort of drugs? No. I had nothing drug-related. Nothing, um... You know me and the girl got in an argument. It's domestic DC, I think. Okay. Yeah, me and the girl got in an argument. With a charge that small, I'm, I will tell you honestly, there may not be a lot we can do just because you're not looking at a lot. I mean, it's not like they're going to put somebody in prison for something like that. I'm However, thinking that you're going to give me a signature and kick me. Oh, for sure today, but yeah, but ultimately. I want to help you guys in the long run. I appreciate that. Ultimately, the, the point of domestic stuff, mm -hmm. and as far as the system goes, is to shove somebody towards help if they need it. Yeah. Do you need anger management? Is there some sort of mental health issue going on? Are there drugs or alcohol? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. There's no drugs I'm or alcohol. I'm just saying. I'm um, just saying. I That's the whole point of the system. I understand that. So there's probably not a lot we can do for you, so but I, we will definitely tell the ADA that you've been helpful. I've got my therapist. I've got my counselors. I've already got everything figured out. And wow. that's... Good for you. Yeah. I just haven't been able to meet up with somebody yet. Okay. Good for you. So that's information I can share without... Sure. Without, yes, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, if Implicating you would... Implicating you in something. Okay. And if you would share with the ADA that I would be willing to help in any further whatever. Yeah. I'm around the kid's age. I'm 29. I could... Or I'm not 29. I'm 31. 
but I can pass as like 27, 28. And if you ever need to put me in any type of situation, maybe to get any information. Oh, we won't. Um, he's here, so you should be happy that he's that you're leaving. Because, well, yeah, he's people like that. Honestly, very make me very angry. He won't. He won't be out walking the, the area, so you shouldn't be in a situation where you can go undercover for us. How about that? Well, I'd go undercover anyway. I appreciate it. So tell me, um, tell me a little bit more. Do you have any description ideas? Male white, something else? Yeah, he's male white. Have you seen stuff on TV? No, I haven't. Um, I, my girls read me the stuff online that's okay. popped up. Um, my memory's really, really crap when it comes to like listening and keeping that in my brain. But the visual of the guy that I think may have been him, he was around six foot. White, dark hair, maybe one... 90, 185. How does he dress? How does he appear? Uh, I don't remember his dress. I mean, you, like you'd remember if he shows up goth or... He had a little facial hair. Okay. Dark hair. Like brownish maybe. Brownish, almost black. Um, he came in like regular jeans, like blue jeans and a, a t-shirt, I want to say. Dark okay. t-shirt. Do you remember what time of day? How um, long did you open up there? We're up open till five. I work, or we're open till eight. I worked till four. Okay. And that would have been in the in the morning time frame. So, well, like nine From to four. Ten to two, time frame. Yeah. When he came in, anywhere from well, eleven to two ish, is what I recall. What are your work hours? You I should. work from ten to four. Are you full time? Uh, part time. Okay. But I work at the campground in the forest, and I'm also a self-employed mechanic, and I'm trying to get in at a place also in the forest that pays 21 an hour. Okay. Well, I'm not judging you about where you're working. <laughs> um, so we're just kind of trying to figure out how this could line up. Do you know what days you worked up there I'm during pretty the sure, week of the disappearance? I'm pretty sure it might be in the computer system. Okay. I'm pretty sure, because everything's printed off the computer, so like the scheduling, everything is all done on the computer and printed off. Okay. Are there regular days that you work each week? Like um, it's always Monday, Tuesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, whatever? Actually, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and it weirds me out that you know that. Well, it was just a guess. <laughs> I should have to say Monday, Wednesday, Friday first, but... So, let me tell you this, because it's been in the news. They reported it to us that... or Well, someone reported it to us that they were missing. He did. Um, on Thursday... Oh, no, Wednesday. Wednesday the 7th. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Something about going up north with friends. And that they had left on Friday morning to go up north with friends. Yep. So, if you were working Friday, that would work. That could have been the if day If you could have come in the store. Okay. So pretty much you well, always work. So that would have been July 9th? 1st? Oh, the July 1st date was, was the 1st or the 2nd? So is this really possible that I actually talked to the guy? Yeah. It's possible. Oh my god. We know he was elsewhere in the forest acquiring items, yes. When I was younger, I thought I was a hard ass, and now I might have actually ran across the guy that some, did that to somebody. It's kind of. You'd never guess. Mm -mm. He's just he's kind of quiet and unassuming, and. And nothing stuck out. Like, there's people that come in the store, I can recall right now what they're wearing, what, like, what color of backpack they had that I was quite following them. Wondering if they were pocketing items in the store. <laughs> right. But this guy, there was nothing there that would have made me believe that he did something so horrible. Yes. I agree. Holy oh, shit. Sorry. Okay. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what size the tarp was? Um. Is it. it I, I mean, seriously it think it was a roll of plastic clear sheeting. Like. Or it may have been a 12 by 12. I, I honestly can't remember the exact size. Or what I showed him, because they're both in the same areas. I'll go up. I'll be like, "Hey, this is what we got right here. We got your, you know, semi-cheap plastic coverings that you can put over your furniture, and then we got an actual tarp, you, you know, mm -hmm. you can use. And if you have any questions, I'll be at the service counter." Right. That's usually Do how you know what he go. chose then. Uh, I want. I don't. Okay. I so don't. you just showed him the stuff. Cool. Yeah. So do you have different sizes of the actual tarps, oh, yes. the blue and silver? Yes. 
Like a There's bunch of different sizes? 12 by 12, 6 by 4, 4 by 4, 6 by 6, 8 by 6. I mean, they, they range. Okay. I think there's like a 14 by 12 too as well. So he didn't say anything about, oh, I need a 20 by 40 or He just said he like needed that. something to cover up with. Okay. Just a normal question. Mm -hmm. Might fit it in my work, line of work. That's a normal question. Right. So how did Chris remember this, do you think? We were, okay, so me, Chris, and another co-worker were just sitting there talking. Sure. They've seen stuff on TV. Yeah, and they're like, Chris goes, you sold the guy something. And I was, and I'm sitting there thinking, I was like, you know, yeah, I kind of did. And he's like, do we, you know, it could have been that kid. And I was like, I don't know who it really was. You know, there's a possibility. And then... Like, he said he could have been that kid or it, a kid? It, it could have been that kid. Okay. Because it was a young kid and his, you know, 23rd. And if they're watching 20th. TV, they know it's nearby and certainly someone's yeah. going to come to the forest to get stuff. Exactly. Okay. And then I'm hearing that, you know, there's cops and drones and uh, they got the mortician out there. Or not the mortician, yeah. but the, the crime I mean, scene investigators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... News reporters are out there, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe I did help the guy. And then I started to think about it, and being in here, um, to myself, to my own thoughts, it's, I started thinking about it. I was like, there's actually a very high chance that I did sell this guy something. I just don't know for sure. I give, I, and then I gave you what I thought he looked like. So hope I'm close. How close am I? Because I, I have a brain injury. White guy. <laughs> I have a brain injury. I got kicked in the face by a horse when I was nine. Right. So my memory is slim to none. Well, you that's, telling us this stuff. That's what I can. I can't remember a lot of stuff, but I can remember um, certain things. When did you guys have this conversation? It was probably like a Wednesday or a Thursday. You and Chris and or the Thursday other or Friday. Friday. Like. A couple week? weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Maybe last week, yeah. Because I know if you talk to him, he'll be like, oh, yeah, we had that conversation. So, okay, but it should have been Monday, Tuesday, or Friday? Yeah, Monday, so Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Friday. Yeah. Monday, Monday Thursday. Thursday, or Friday? You don't work Tuesday? I do not work Tuesday. Okay. So I wrote Thursday. that down. No, I don't work Tuesday. I work Monday, Monday Thursday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday. Okay. Tuesday and Wednesday are at the campground. Which one is that? The Kiefer Campground. Kiefer. Anywhere? Uh, the forest. It's the old KOA across the street from Quick Trip. Oh, okay. How often are you working there? Uh, two days a week, and is at this point, I don't know if I'm going back. Because I screwed my girlfriend out of hours. Hmm. She hurt herself um, working for them. She went to the hospital. She pulled a muscle in her back. She gave them the paperwork. They said, all right, well... When this end of the week comes around, come back, we'll get you going again. And they put her on for six hours for two days. From being full time. Mm. So that she kind of screwed up on that. So I'm not probably not going to be there much longer. Well, did that just happen? Maybe wait and see if she, how it shakes out. Because maybe you think they're doing it. It didn't just favor. happen. It, that, that was last month that it happened with her. And then I let it pan out. And I even was like, hey, you have a position available? Um, maintenance? I would love that position. Because I mow their yards, I we whack, I mow, I do all the stuff there. So why not we hire me on full time as that, you know? And they never got back to me. I asked them again. They never got back to me. Then they cut my hours, and I'm just like, I quit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Is Chris there pretty much full time? Yes. Okay, so we can maybe check with him. And yeah. what what happened with video? Do you know when the deputy came and asked about it? I don't know. You don't you had some video? Okay. All I remember is probably. I, was he asking? Do you think? Do you have? Did you, does anybody remember anything? Did he come and purchase it, or was it just video that shows the street? Do you know it's what they video, in, for? In, interior video, like of the registers, the, the aisles, and awkwardly enough, a tarp aisle was mentioned, and that's what brought the conversation up with Chris and I. Mm. And I was like, yeah, I saw somebody, something like that, you know, not too long ago, and then that's when it was like, oh crap. Was the deputy in uniform that you saw? Yes. Okay. yes. I say, he wasn't undercover. Hmm. Well, we don't really call us undercover. It's just that we wear street Casual. clothes so that people don't really notice us. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not necessarily undercover. I just... never would think. What? 
Two that we're past? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Well, that's something I would like to be. I'm trying to get my record expunged in yeah, 31. Funny. I do. Go for it. Sometimes, I mean, try. Go and try. Sometimes the best people are those that have been there already. It's first year understand. criminal trespassing. I was drunk. <laughs> And I bumped into somebody's car and set their alarm off when I was walking home. That's it, a felony. In the state of Colorado, it's first degree criminal trespass with the intent to commit a crime. I couldn't go to the bathroom without pissing on my feet, so how do you right. expect me to break into somebody's car? To have intent, yes. And I tried to bring that up. And See if you can get rid of it. Sometimes the best people in law enforcement are those that have been through some stuff and understand what, you know, what the temptations are and what you know, kids are up to. Growing up, you know what I mean? Yep, I was one of those kids. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't seem like a bad guy. I mean, I you might make you might make it a better agency because you're there, you know. Could. Well, I appreciate the push. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. What do you think, Liz? You got anything else? I don't. I can give you my card in case you think of anything. Please. So to see if uh, if Chris has any more words of wisdom. Yeah. So Chris, was Chris aware of? When the guy came in too, it's just that you took him and showed him where the cars were? He, he wasn't, it was, I don't know if he was aware. I, I almost want to think it was more of the female lady I work with. Um, yeah, but he remembered that you sold him a tarp, right? He remembers... Or that it, you showed him where the tarps Yes, because yeah. um, he's always going up into the office and not, the tarps are right there. Mm -hmm. Like, you go up to the office, the stairwell, you come down, they're right there. Sure. So he could have been just going by, running by, doing something, and he saw me selling somebody a tarp. But, the lady that I also talked to, she sometimes works the registers, and she, that was the third person in our conversation. So she checked him out? I don't know, it could have been... been multiple... Yes, there could have been, I don't know last name, but it could have been um, this guy by the name of Matt, Matthew. He's autistic, so he might have a better memory. A lot of other people. True. Or what was the other lady's name? Um, Sabrina. So those are the two likely checkout people that might have been yes. there? Yes. Okay. Or it could have been Matt's mom, but I don't think so. What's her name? I can't remember. Okay. Can you talk to Matt? Yeah. So can we walk up to him and check or talk to him? Yeah. Okay. He's. He's really calm. That functional yes. and like we won't freak him out. No, okay. he, he's actually he's very good for his condition. You can tell when you look at him and then watch his demeanor and the way yeah. he moves. You can tell. Yeah, but so he's real high functioning. Yeah, he like, drives a lot of people too. People don't understand what it is, but I, I've seen it before. It's not quite right. No. Okay. I've seen that before. People and he's to the point where he drives himself. He's got a license, he drives, he puts gas in his own car, he pays his own bills with his parents. Yeah, he still lives with his mom and dad, but he's doing really good for yeah. what he's at. So. Cool. Alright, you think of anything else? Can you think of anything else that we should know about Mr. Martin? No, but I promise to give you a call if anything pops up. Okay. Alright, so tell me this again, what's your middle name? Maxwell. The third, right? Third. Mm -hmm. Date of birth? 42190. And where do you live? I live in the forest, uh, 635 Seminole Way. The forest, Wisconsin. You have a phone number? 920 306 35 98. 98? Mm -hmm. Shoot me a text, let me know who it is. That's what I have my customers do too. So, I got a lot of spam callers, and I'm not going to waste my time trying to deal sure. with them. Sure, right. So, shoot me a text. Usually, I'll try to call first, and then when they don't really answer me in a little while, I'll just be like, hey, William, if this is Gwen, the detective you talked to, blah, blah, blah. blah. So, yeah, I get a hold of you. All right. Sounds good. So, okay. If you can't think of anything else. Is there a chance, something I've shared with you, that there is a chance you could talk to the DA or judge on that? Yeah. For this oh, yeah, we we'll will. Call. I just don't know that it'll get you much because you, you're this isn't really big time what you're looking at here, you know. It's a misdemeanor the way it sounds to me, like they're probably gonna shove you towards some programming. I I would be surprised if you spend another night in jail. Wow. Uh, although I don't know what your record is before this, sometimes that influences it, but maybe okay. you guys have had a lot of this kind of stuff go on or whatever, but, but yeah. please share that. Um, I might have court here soon, so Well it's not gonna help today. Okay. 
But yeah, usually that's a signature bond for that kind of thing, okay. for sure. But it could help you for sentencing, again, if you're really facing anything, I would be surprised if you are facing much for something like that. Because again, our focus in Dane County is to get people the help they need about that. You know, and not keep them locked up. Right, and it's not our job to you know tell you if you're, oh, should you be in that relationship or whatever. Mm -hmm. But let's make sure that everybody feels safe and let's mm -hmm. figure out what are the issues that you know could be addressed that might help both of you. So that's kind of more, you know, like you spend no more nights in jail, but have some counseling or something or whatever it is that would be useful. Well, tonight my thing ends at 8, so I'm probably... While she's at work, it's sent me to her and I'll contact him. Yeah. Oh, okay. So while she's at work, I'm gonna try to get home, get showered, cleaned up, and then buy some roses. See, see, she's got it. <laughs> and then, cause she gets done at four, and then I'm gonna go across the street and hang out at the park and no, basically. Okay, so I'm just trying to get cleaned up. The result of the hearing, though, could be that you're not supposed to have contact with her. So wait until you figure that out. Okay. So the DA's office well, should have called her and said, "Is it okay if he comes back?" That's my because they could also put bail months. conditions. It doesn't matter. Okay. They could also put bail conditions that you stay away. Okay. So pay attention in the court this afternoon. They should have contacted her to find out if she wanted that. She didn't press no charges or nothing, so I doubt it. So. Okay. Well, in, in Wisconsin, she doesn't have to. When we find out about stuff that justifies yeah. an arrest, then we have to do it. So, but yes, the the court and the DA's office are there to hopefully make things come out the way they should be. Okay. You know, if we overreacted because that's the way the law makes us act, then the court will kind of sort it out and push people towards what they need. Okay. Okay? Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us. We really appreciate it. I hope I helped in some type of way. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You going to walk me back? Yep. yep. Awesome. Oh, cool. There's going to be a bin right around the corner. Hopefully I'm getting out of these anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like, it'll be the first open door on your left.